Hi there, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect to MySQL database table and then use insert query to add data to your table. So here we are using Node.js. So make sure that you have package named as MySQL. So npm install MySQL. Once you install this package, then you'll be able to execute the code explained in the video. Next thing, open any text editor and create one sample.js file. As you can see, I'm using Visual Studio Code and I have created this sample.js and I'm in the same directory from the CD files is the directory where I have this file installed. Okay, next thing is that make sure that you have your MySQL server running and now we are going to create our MySQL instance. So add MySQL, require here MySQL module. Next thing, we are going to create connection. So MySQL create connection. And within that method, we are going to call for host. Okay, so local host. And then we are going to use user, which is going to be root, then going to use password, it is going to be, let's say, demo 1234. Then we are going to connect to a database. So for database, let's see, going to my MyPHP database, within which I have one table named user base. Okay, inside it has two columns, username and password, and one column for ID. So I'm gonna insert that data into the table. It auto increments, so I don't have to specially write ID in my query. So let's start. First thing, we're going to use con.connect. Okay, this will allow us to connect with our database. Then let's first check if we have any errors. So if error, then throw error, then connection dot query. And here I'm gonna use a query, let's say for insert. So let's say insert into user base. Okay, so we're gonna use bracket, so username, password, and then values, and then mention values. Let's say Alexis is, or just Alex, and in another query, we will update name to Alexis. And then password, uh, let's name it um, something like Devnami, okay? Close the bracket and that's it, okay? Uh, after that, we can simply use if error then throw error, okay? Also, you can use console.log to say one entry added. Okay, so if we find an error, then it will throw error. If it finds entry gets added, then it will come to this line. Otherwise, it will exit on this error. Okay, so let's go through the code again. And as you can see, everything looks correct, right? Okay. So what we did so far, we have our connect. Right, okay, you can also separate this and handle error, okay? So if I want this in some variable, let's say 
variable SQL, and here I have this entry. Okay, and in query I can just pass this, and then I can handle my error and result. Okay, and here we can just add. Right, and in this okay so what I did I separated my query and then I just passed it as a variable here and also added error and result objects okay so these will be used if there is error it will be used if there are any specific result you want to show, then you can do so. We will just use console.log, then result, okay? You can comment this part out for now. If you want, you can use that and get the specific result on the query that particular query is uh, run over there, okay? So what we have done here is we have Separated our SQL query. Okay, make sure that this is properly written. Right, database, username, password, values. Okay, and after that, you are opening your command prompt. And here, type in node and then sample.js. Okay, hit enter and it should show you the result. It will take some time and it will fetch the value as one entry added. Okay, you can verify that by running one more query and check out the result, or you can also check through your admin for MySQL. That's one option. Also go through console again by writing additional code. You can also um, remove the comment part and check whether this result is properly added or not. Again, for that, you have to make changes here. Otherwise, there will be duplicate entry and it will throw an error, okay? So this was a short video on how to use insert query on your MySQL database table from your Node.js program.